It is time for your health beat, and we are right amid the peak of flu season. Some good news, though. After February, cases start trending downward. But today, we're talking about all the buzz online surrounding influenza B. So this year's flu vaccine is quadrivalent. That means it's made up of four different strains, two from influenza A, and there's also two from influenza B. But since the start of the pandemic, a global flu database hasn't recorded a single case of influenza B. It doesn't live in animals and humans aren't getting it. Then there's this notion that it's disappeared. Well, I asked our health expert there, Dr. Pyle Coley, about this. She tells me it's possible that in the future we could just have a bivalent vaccine that only has influenza strains, influenza A strains specifically. That would in theory change the vaccine's efficacy from around 60% to as much as 90. She says that's why community surveillance is so important. It helps our doctors target the vaccine to fight exactly what we need, but there's some reality to all of this. The 90s, we saw a similar thing where it doesn't go extinct. It just goes to sleep for a few years. So it's not circulating. And then in early 2000s, it actually woke up and you had influenza B outbreaks, which were much worse because people obviously hadn't been, you know, really protected against influenza B for many years. So, so I think this type of surveillance will help us to continue to evolve and really sort of help improve the efficacy of the annual flu vaccine. History does often repeat itself. Dr. Coley says influenza viruses tend to just go dormant sometimes. She says she's not quite ready to take influenza B out of the vaccine just yet.